I want to tell you a story. Um, today I uh, went and I helped one of my friends, my, my, one of my best friends, she, her, her grandfather passed away. Mm -hmm. And um, he was very, they were very close. And of course she was very, very upset and sad. And I, um, I said to myself, okay, I cannot go because, you know, it's Thursday, I have things to do, my kids are, have to be with me, yeah, I need to come to classes, what, how, how I'm going to do it. And um, because I have, Baruch Hashem, yes, uh, I have the merit to have many things to do in my life, sometimes too many, yes, but a lot of things, I have my, everything is like on a, on a second, yeah, in my, uh, um, sometimes I, uh, it's very easy to give up on things, you know, to give up and say, no, I'm not going to do it now, I'm going to do it tomorrow, tomorrow I have time, it's going to be okay, but tomorrow is Friday, and then it's Shabbat, and then they come, they, they're not going to, and it's different, you know, when you can be there for someone, yeah, um so i decided that i'm gonna go before classes yeah uh, and i said i'm gonna be there for her a little bit and then i'm gonna come of course i've been there she cried everything i couldn't leave her yes yeah? so the time came and i almost uh, i was i was late uh, almost half an hour for my for my previous class um but it's a mitzvah there are some mitzvot okay that we don't have, we don't have like a um, um, shield for them. We don't know what we get. Not that we do the mitzvah because we get something instead. Yeah, we don't do that. But, but usually in general, it says, if you are respecting your father and your mother, your life is going to be longer. Okay. There are things in the Torah that are written that's for a specific mitzvah. So there are mitzvah, mitzvot, like uh, making peace between a man and a husband, um, uh, going and, and, and helping someone sick in the hospital hospital or um, um, it's very important to go and to uh, take someone to his last road okay these are mitzvot that they have um, a Karen here and in Ulamaba not only in Ulamaba they also here yes and there are things that we don't know what 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 is the what is how big it's a mitzvah yes so it's very important when something like this comes to to make an effort and do it and the reason why is that when you go there, not only that you show the respect for the person that passed away or whatever, but you also uh, take from the pain. You understand? You are helping the person. That, that's why it's very important also after, if you cannot go to the Levaya, at least to go to visit in the seven days. This is the time um, to, 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 to be there for that person, to take a little bit from that person's pain. Okay, the, the same way when someone is sick, when a person goes to visit a sick person in hospital or whatever, in the home where the person is sick, it's, it's taking from the sickness a little bit and also giving that person literally life. Because when someone, you know, the person feels that, that oh, someone cares, you know, I'm, I'm not so useless to this world. Yes, someone needs me still here so so you sort of like give this person my much life and every time someone is doing this and even more than that every single mitzvah that we are doing in this life it doesn't matter how little it is how small it is it's um creating an angel it's creating an angel and those angels that we create they protect us they come when we need them Okay, they, they, are, they are here and they will come also after we leave this world. They are going to come and say to Hashem, I'm created because of that person. There is a saying on Yom Kippur that if a person has 120 bad angels, yes, and one, one that is good. Yes, it's a, it's a good angel. It comes from a mitzvah. Yeah, because we also create not so good angels, yes, <laughs> when we do something that is not according to the Torah. But um, then this person is going through, like it's written in the book of life for one angel. And it's how, how, how can it be? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound right. You know why? Because when a person 
does one mitzvah from all the, you know, sometimes it's so hard to follow and it's hard for us. And we, we struggle, we struggle so much and we, we fall and we fall and we fall. And one day I managed to do something, you know, and we're like, oh, yay, I can, I could do this and that. That, that angel comes in front of Hashem and said, do you know what this person went through, you know, to create me? Do you have an idea what he had to go through to just create me? The problem is not this. The problem is we don't believe in ourselves enough. And that's what brings us to the, <laughs> to the other side. Yeah, we have to believe that every mitzvah that I do, even the smallest one, yeah, it's, go, it's there and it's doing something and it's helping me and I, I, I do something with it. So I come out from, uh, from this. I, le- I leave my friend, Vaha is calling me. What's going on? The class started already. I, I tell the girls the, the message didn't go through. My daughter is calling me like crazy. They are fighting there in the house. And I'm like, oh, what I'm going to do now, okay? So I'm in the car and I, I, I drive from from my home yes to to begin if you know a little bit in israel and you have like like a fork you say yes that you go straight when you have to come and you go right to malcha yeah to to the to the mall so i'm going through and i see this car next to me oh next to me going to he wants to go right to malcha yeah and he doesn't see me i see that he doesn't see me and he says, shut, but we, like, you know, we're driving, yes? And he's coming in. And I don't know how. I have no idea how. I just took the wheel and I just went right and left. And I started to go around and around. With the, now, on the, on the way here, that it's a miracle. This car didn't went over. I, I'm telling you. Finally, the car stopped. Everybody, like, you know, lighting and baby and everybody, you know, stop the car to see what's going on. And I was like, I stopped for a minute on the, on the side. I started to cry. Like I was like in shock. My, my daughter was still with me on the phone. Yes. And then I see the guy that did this, you know, coming out from the car, like running. I'm so sorry. I didn't saw you. It was a black point. I didn't saw you. And, and I, I'm, it's not your fault. It's my fault. But in this moment, I'm saying to myself, this could have finished in a, tragedy like literally yeah and just one thing he didn't saw me the car comes and I'm sitting there and I'm saying to myself what did I do that nothing happened now that I came out and nothing happened Baruch Hashem. I could even came and teach to the girls first of all I was on my way to do a mitzvah yes and there is a saying that a shaliach mitzvah someone that it's has a um um, he needs to do a mitzvah, it's protected. Yes, that's why uh, whoever lives in Israel, yes, whoever stays here and has a house here and lives in Israel, is not really allowed to go out of Israel. Yeah, according to the halacha. You only are allowed to go out of Israel for specific reasons. If you need parnasa, for health reasons, to visit family or parents, um, I don't know. Sometimes people want to travel. Yeah, just to have fun a little bit outside to, to travel the world. And al says, no, you can't. <laughs> but of course, people are doing this. So there is a custom in Israel that before someone is, um, is leaving the country, you can give someone money. Like I'm, I'm, let's say you are living, yes, and I'm giving you money a little bit, 10 shekels, 20 shekels. And I'm saying to you, when you come back from your trip, put this in the tzedakah in the, in the airport. So in this moment, I make someone a shaliach mitzvah, a, a messenger for the mitzvah. The same for Purim. We're going to talk now about Purim, and you're going to see that we also have this, a shaliach mitzvah, that you can give money to someone to do the mitzvah for you. And it's you are doing the mitzvah. Yes, it's your mitzvah. But this person is protected by this, that he is now, this person is a messenger, okay, for your mitzvah. First of all, I was on my way to do the classes, so that's a mitzvah and it's protection. But secondly, I did the mitzvah of going to this funeral, even though my first thought when I thought about it is to say, I'm sorry, I have classes at six o'clock. I cannot do it. I'm gonna come later. And later comes, and then you have a hundred million things that are gonna happen and you're gonna lose that mitzvah. 
And this is with everything. There are so many stories that I can tell you until tomorrow morning here, yes, about people who did one thing, tiny thing, you know, remember that instead of putting the, uh, the right uh, shoe, he put the left shoe, he went back for two minutes to change the shoes, <laughs> he had to do it again. And in those two minutes, a tragedy happened or something. You don't know how many stories like this I also told over the years that I'm here, if you follow my classes before, and I can tell you about people that for one mitzvah, everything changed. Sometimes we lose the bus, we lose this, we, 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 uh, you know, we are kicked out of, of places and then something happens. And then you see how Hashem protected us, how, how if we were there for one minute more, it could have ended in a, in a, in a tragedy, yeah? So I'm 100% sure that what helped me today, like to, to be here and scratch and do this class with you now, is the fact that I went and I did the mitzvah, even though I was late and I was this, but I didn't give it up. I didn't give it up. I didn't say, okay, I'm not gonna do it, you know? And just remember that every mitzvah that we do, it's so important. And it has a, oh, if we would just know what we would do with them, really. And that's so important, you know, to talk about these things, because when we talk about these things, the mitzvot receive a, a different way of looking. Yeah, they receive a purpose. And when, when, when you have a purpose, then you, you do it with pleasure because you know that, wow, I'm, I'm literally creating worlds and angels right now. Yes, that's, wow, that's mind-blowing. Think about it. Now we have that merit to do that. It's incredible, yeah. Okay, um, so thank you, Hashem, for helping me <laughs> to be here and to be able to teach and uh, that nothing happened. Has shalom and I'm, uh, I'm okay. <laughs>